Good morning. Uh, Mike Bonner here taking the baton from Tim Jones, who started our Big E live coverage. I'm here on Wednesday. I'll be here again on Thursday for all of Mass Live's 2019 coverage from the Big E presented by Planet Fitness. As you can see, the Ferris wheel is behind me, and today I'm starting with coffee break. This is a good kind of point of reference. I spoke with the, the owner today, and they said we always want to point people from the Ferris wheel. It's a nice point of reference into where you'll see the midway sign behind me. Of course, I'm on the front facing camera, so it's going to look backwards, but what can you do? So it's just a few steps beyond that. We're going to enter into coffee break. I'm going to show you what kind of access Mass Live is giving you this week as you usually can't enter here, but we're going to enter into coffee break. I'm going to speak with Will. Here he is. Hi, Will. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So, uh, what do we got on tap today? What are we making? Uh, we're making today our deep fried pineapple upside down cake and our honest day. Okay. Uh, what what goes into making one? Well, first we'll, we'll have like our first pineapple, then we dip it in our uh, homemade special batter. You know, can't talk about it. Yeah, I heard. I heard that the the, the batter is top secret. Yeah. Classified information. Yeah, if I want to keep my job, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now is the batter used just for the pineapple or is it used yeah, across? Okay. It's just, just specifically just for the pineapple. So if you get a deep fried Pop Tart or a deep fried Oreo, that'll be a different batter? Yes, we have. We oh, have interesting. Okay. How would you describe the batter? What makes this batter different? What does it taste like compared to something else? It tastes like a cake. Okay. You know? Like it's, it's in the name, you know? Oh, okay. Pineapple, upside down cake, you know? It's gonna be nice and fluffy or, you know, with the sweetness of the pineapple. Where did the idea for this come from? Well, my boss, he, he's every year, you know, he, he's a big E guy, so he's, every year he's coming up with new ideas to, you know, for his, his spot. So this year he wanted to try something with a fruit. Pineapple. And is that what I'm, we're looking at right now? Is that the... Yes, the deep fried pineapple right now. Okay. Now what else, um, how has this been doing so far? I know it's oh, early. It's been, in, it's but been really popular. You know, people are coming, people are like, oh, we heard about it, and they just come in, and it's like, we're selling, it's, it's selling like hot cakes, yeah. basically. You know, so, you just, hey. you know, can't do wrong with uh, powdered sugar. <laughs> and we add drizzle some caramel on it. And then we can top it off. Oh, with whipped cream, too, wow. That's our kind of All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bite of this, and then I want to discuss more of what you guys have. If you don't mind, Will, just taking it for a second. And do you recommend dipping in the whipped cream, or what's the best? It's up to you. If you're a whipped cream guy, I, I am whipped cream. Be careful, it's hot. That's, that's my, that was my other concern. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Good. Yeah. It doesn't even. You get the fruit taste, but it doesn't taste cakey. Yeah. And that's really good, especially with the whipped cream. Mm -hmm. it, I thought biting in that the pineapple was going to overwhelm it. Yeah. With the sweet and tart, but this is this is really good. I'm usually not one for fruit desserts. Mm -hmm. But this is more sweet. <laughs> I get the cake on the wrong bite. Yeah. It tastes like a cake, but with a weird fruit tang to it. I really, really, really enjoyed it. I'm going to take another bite just because it's that good. Thank you so much, Will, for You're welcome. Um, allowing me to dive into this. So, what else? You said this has been selling like hotcakes. What else do you have here that people have really been kind of fan favorites? So our deep fried Nutella, you know, sandwiches is with, you know, Nutella and bananas that we fry it. Also our pop tarts are very popular. Our Snickers, we also have our deep fried almonds, you know. And the other stuff, we have like peanut butter and jelly, the, the peanut butter fluff, you know. And uh, also we have the 
red velvet Oreos, we have regular Oreos, and then we have our Girl Scout Samoas. So you know those are, everybody loves the Girl Scout Samoas. Yeah. The batter is just so interesting for this. When you're just having like a deep fried Pop-Tart of the Oreo, is that just maybe more of uh, the, the deep fried like you'd see maybe anywhere? Or, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I believe so. I believe it's just the, 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 when we do the other deep fried stuff, it's like like anywhere else, you know, simple batter. What was your first reaction to having this the first time you had it? Yeah. Unfortunately, I haven't had it yet. You haven't had it yet, really? Yeah, I can't. I'm allergic to it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's too well. Then I'll have yours. I no no worries there. Yeah, but everybody else, you know, we have a couple of our, our co-workers. They were like raving about it. They're like, oh my god, this is delicious. You know, and, uh, unfortunately, I want to try it, yeah. but I can't. <laughs> well, I guess it's maybe a good thing because I'd be eating it all day if I were you. So maybe it's a good thing you can't have it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks again, Will. Again, we're here at the coffee break. Uh, they're here the entire time. The Big E is here. I'll give you one more kind of look at just what they have going on here the deep fried up pineapple deep fried upside down pineapple cake definitely a thing you gotta try here